First, I want to thank uh, different uh, folks for their participation in the playground. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when the idea for a playground began, but I think I know at least one of the people that was part of that. Are John and Elena here? I see Elena. Is John here? There he is over there by the van. Thank you, John. Thank you, John, uh, for pushing and prodding and encouraging uh, along the way to uh, head us towards uh, building a playground out here. Uh, the idea kind of took, uh, took hold eventually and a playground committee was formed. Uh, Randy Nelson uh, kind of headed that up and chaired that. Let me say, help, Randy, help me. Who else was on that? Uh, Chuck Chisholm, right here, Chuck Chisholm. Heather Ashurst, where's Heather? She's, she was here somewhere, I saw her earlier. Uh, Sarah Caleb, I don't know if Sarah's here or not. Wayne Russell, uh, myself, and that's it, okay. Randy said that's it, so I'm saying that's it. All right. And uh, we got together and, and looked at pictures and, uh, you know, dreamed about things. There was this one that was like, you know, a $500,000, had water slides and stuff. I almost, uh, we almost put the for sale, you know, sign out in front of the church and became, you know, kind of a big baptistry kind of church thing going. But we decided, actually we were told, that we couldn't do that. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, it was great. And we worked with uh, Al Gray. Uh, Al, wave at us here. Al was, uh, was our playground representative, kind of helped us pick out things, uh, pick out plans, get colors, do all that kind of stuff for our play structure. Was instrumental in helping us uh, do that and work with us. And he came all the way up from Lincoln County to be here with us uh, tonight. And uh, we're thankful for that. And then we had a serious group of workers uh, that kind of headed it up. You know, Dwayne Clark and James Craighead and Walter Moore and Ron, Ron Cunningham. Who else am I forgetting? George Hoff and, you know, the guys. The guys that build everything around here. They built this. They built that. They're building a gymnasium right over here. Anyway, <clears throat> right beside the big water slide. Anyway, uh, that, Junior, were you out there too? Oh, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. They're all fighting over who, who is helping back there. Ed Allen, uh, Junior, David Smith. See, there's too many of them. I can't remember them all. And Wayne Russell. Yes, yes. Anybody else? Rod Dillon. Rod, did you help? A little bit? Okay, I know you did. Well, those guys kind of headed it up, got us, uh, got us going in the right direction, and then a bunch of dads and other people uh, came out here on a Saturday and uh, kind of helped, helped straighten those guys out, really. They were having a hard time putting it together. No, that's not true, is it? We kind of came out here and got in the way and uh, had a great time. Raise your hand if you came out at all for that playground build that day. I didn't say if you worked. I just say if you came out here that day. There's a few out here. Good job. A lot of fun uh, doing that. Some folks provided a meal for us. Uh, you know, it, it, we had nice little placemats full of uh, colored pictures, and it was just a great day. Guys had a lot of fun. Got a lot of work done, and then we let the real professionals get back in there and clean up our mess. And uh, but anyway, what you have right here is a result of lots of planning, lots of work, very generous, um, very generous uh, gift of time and permission from our elders and, and the value of our children. And we have a great playground here that will hopefully be here for a long time and be played on by us and lots of other people for a long time. Um, <clears throat> I do want to take uh, the next 45 minutes to go over the rules. Okay, block the gate. No, I'm just kidding. I do, I do want to mention a couple of things since we have everybody out here together. Uh, obviously, with a playground like this, uh, there's going to be a, a plethora of rules. Don't ask me to spell plethora. But they're, they're going to be posted over here somewhere on the fence. A couple of those that everybody needs to pay attention to. One is adult supervision. 
you, you're not supposed to be playing out here without an adult watching you. Now, I'm not going to define adult. It's not always age. Well, anyway. You need to have somebody out here watching. The playground's designed for uh, ages 2 to 5 over here, ages 5 to 12 over here. Andrew, right now, is our playground sentry. And uh, he is our playground super... No, he's not. Okay. It's very important that we uh, abide by that rule. I know kids are going to be excited and tear out of the uh, classes or whatever to come out here and play, but we've got to have that in place for this to be safe. The second and only other thing that I'll mention is just beware when you're driving around this side of the building, okay? I know, uh, you know, perhaps you're going to be really inspired by some sermon and ready to get home and start telling... You know, everybody about, you know, the great church that you're a part of and all of that kind of stuff. But, you know, as you're going through this area, slow down and then speed up once you get out on Antioch Pike. Don't break the speed limit, but just nice and slow through this area as the kids come out these doors uh, to go to the playground. OK, I, think, uh, I guess it was last May when we were uh, out here dedicating this pavilion and what a great uh, fellowship time that was for our church. What a blessing, and it's just neat to see so many different people out here right now just enjoying this and to be able to watch uh, groups uh, come out here and enjoy that. At that same time, we had uh, some dear brothers and sisters of ours, the Craigheads, go out here in this general area and kind of ceremonially uh, break ground for the playground. I don't know if you remember that. Raise your hand if you were here for that. A lot of people were here for that. You know, sometimes we, we make plans and you never know how they're going to turn out. And you never, never know what's going to happen. I'm so, it's hard to believe it's been almost a year. But it's amazing to be able to say, wow, from just digging a little bit of dirt, moving a little dirt right in this area to now, there are kids out there, by the way, they're unsupervised. No, I'm just kidding. They're, they're running around, enjoying that, playing on that. And... It's just a blessing. It's just a blessing to be a part of a church uh, that's committed to its uh, children, committed to its, uh, to its youth, to its future. And uh, we're thankful for the Craighead family. And we love you guys. And um, we know that uh, something like this is not going to replace or fill in your loss. Um, we know that those wounds will always be there. But we know, and we want you to know, that this is something that will remind, um, remind you all of how much you're loved by this church. And how much when you hurt, we hurt. And we know Tyler and Shelby love to play. Love to play. And um, grew up in a great uh, family. Uh, that was a big part of this church and is a big part of this church and so uh, it's very fitting and very appropriate uh, for this playground Craighead playground to be dedicated in memory of Tyler and Shelby The Craighead Playground dedicated in memory of Tyler and Shelby. It's officially open today. Today. May this playground be here for a long time. May their memories uh, fill your hearts. Know that we love you. We love you in the name of the Lord. We love you as family. And we thank you for allowing us to share this moment with you and we honor them. Go with God. Enjoy and appreciate your family. Thank you for everybody being a part of this. Uh, feel free to come over and encourage the Craighead family. Enjoy your evening. Good night.